Hey guys, welcome back to another beautiful, amazing, wonderful video. I don't know why I covered my eyes. Welcome back, welcome back. I haven't posted in a while because I've just been focused on taking the regions. Um, I took those like two weeks ago. And then last week was the last week, last day of school. Uh, to everybody who graduated this year, congratulations to you. I wish you the best in the near, near future. And I hope that you just keep on striving for the best. Now, we're going to be talking about freshman year and how it went. Now, going into freshman year, I already had credits. I had two credits be um, for my algebra region. I took algebra in eighth grade, and I passed it. So, I got credit for that. And me coming in with credits helped me out a lot. I'm so glad I came in with credits. Because my first semester, I ended up taking my regular ninth grade classes, and I took Spanish and um geometry. Geometry is tenth grade, and then Spanish you take those, you take that in tenth grade. So, I was I was taking I was taking classes with tenth graders. I had three classes with tenth graders: um, Spanish, geometry, and one of my gym periods. So I was bouncing between ninth and tenth graders. I wasn't in an exact class because I had class with pretty much not everybody, but I had class with two sets two sets of ninth grade class, and I had my 10th grade class too, so I would just bounce around to classes every day, and that, that was that was fun, and I liked it. Second semester, I didn't end up taking Spanish, but I took geometry again because, yeah, you gotta take it for two semesters, and then you gotta take the region, but I ended up doing community service, which is going to be another credit added on, and the and credit is big in high school because the credits is what gets you to graduate. You need 44 credits to graduate. Uh, as of the first semester and my algebra credit, I have nine credits. But when they include this semester, the second semester credit, uh, I don't know exactly how much I'm going to have. But I'm guessing, I'm saying like 15, 15. I'm guessing 15. Guessing 15. Which is good because I'm having more credits than you usually would have as a ninth grader. That's good. The um the whole throughout the whole year I did track, track was um it was it was fun um it it was stressful about it's stressful doing track and school at the same time because I'll be I'll be coming home till like near eight sometimes some sometimes like on the dot of seven and then sometimes near eight and then I'll be having to like do my homework and whatever else I gotta do at at home. And I usually be at bed at eleven, maybe twelve o'clock, and then gotta get up at seven o'clock. So doing that routine was stressful, but my body became used to it. Uh, I started missing a lot of practice because, like, I just felt like I wasn't having enough time to myself because I was doing school and track. And then going into outdoor season, it got worse because I was having practice Monday through Friday, meet on Saturday. Uh, with the Saturday meet, I would be having to um get up. Like six, seven o'clock. Wait, no, five, six o'clock, and then leave the house for like six or seven. Then I gotta reach it. Well, I usually have to reach to my school for like seven, seven o'clock, seven thirty, maybe like seven forty-five. I to get for all of us to catch a bus. By all of us, I mean my teammates. And then we go and I'll be going for the whole day. Then I have to come back home, wash dishes. Uh, then I just gotta get ready. For, get 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 to bed so I could go to church in the morning. So that was pretty much stressful. Like I was getting really irritated with that. But it is what it is and I did it. Now, how I did academically this year, I have um my report card for the first and second semester. Now the first semester, the first market period for the first semester I got a seventy six average. That's a decent one. That's not really proud for me. Um, second market period, I got 75. I dropped by one. Uh, and then third market period, I boosted up to 85. So I went up by nine points with my average. Now, second semester, well, both, sem both semester was good. Both was challenging, but I had to keep on going, making sure I do my thing. I didn't fill no classes for this whole year. I passed all my classes, and I have all my credits for the ninth grade year. Um, 
Alright, so the second semester, the first micro period, I got an 81.55 um, uh, for the second micro period for the second semester, I got an 85. And then the third micro period for the second semester, I got an 86. Uh, 86 is the highest average I've ever gotten in my life. And I was pretty happy about that because, like, it's the highest average I ever got. I want a 90 average, though. Like, going into sophomore year, I'm going to aim for a 90 average, and I will get that. Um, so, with my regions, I took the geometry and living environment. I haven't got my geometry score yet. Uh, I live in an environment. I passed that with a 65. Yeah, 65. That's that's passing. That, no, nah, that region was actually hard. I'm not going to lie. It was hard, but I'm glad I passed it. Um, geometry, I'm kind of hesitant that I pass, if I pass or not because my teacher was pretty much gone for the second semester. And I, I, didn't, I had substitute and they were not teaching us what we were supposed to learn. So... I was really lacking knowledge going into this, and I had to self-teach myself some of the things. So hopefully I pass. If I don't, I just retake it. Uh, one advice, I always try to pass if you need on the first try, so you don't have to do it over again. Um, During this year, like, I did, during this year, it was good. I made honor roll for the first time in my life. I made honor roll. I, I've never made honor roll. Any other, any of the other times in my life, I've never really made honor roll, and this year was the first year. I got a couple of awards, like um, a community service award. I get perfect attendance because I'm good at showing up. So that, and I'm pretty sure I don't think I got any other awards. Uh, and I got award for indoor and outdoor season because those are the two seasons I ran for uh, track. And this freshman year was just good, like, making friends and stuff. It wasn't hard for me to make friends. Like, my first day of school, I made a lot of friends. Like, I'm really a friendly person. Like, during the whole school year, I made friends with 9, 10, 11, and 12 graders. I, know, I knew people from every single grade. 10, I knew because I took 10 grade classes. And through those friends that I made with the 10 grade classes, I became friends with their friends. So, I knew pretty much... I wouldn't say all the 10th graders, but majority of them. 11th grade, um, I knew that because, like, track, track, um, some of the kids in, was in 11th grade, so I knew them. And then 12, track 2, uh, so, yeah, it wasn't really, it wasn't hard for me to make friends. And, like, I remember on the first, I don't think it was a first day of school, but when we had advisory, I remember... I made it known that I was a man of God. I made it known that I was a Christian, so all my friends know that. And, like, during the whole year, we would just joke around, playing around. I mean, not in class. Like, I'm just saying, in general, like, joke around, playing around, things like that. And my goal for this year was to be quiet in class and be loud outside of class. Would I say I accomplished that goal? Kind of. I would say kind of because I was still a little chatty in certain classes, like, living the rhyme. I was chatty in that class, but I was still passing it. I remember with... The global, I would say, was the hardest class I had this year. The reason why, because during the market periods, I was sailing, but like towards the end of the market, towards the end of the market period, I ended up passing. So I had to make sure I was good at that. And then a mistake that I made in like the first semester for um global, I didn't put my name on some of my work. I did the work, I just didn't put my name on it. And then so zero enter in, and yeah, that. And you know how what a zero does to your your grade. Like you could have like an eighty five at eighty five in that class until zero. Yeah, and then because it it wasn't just one paper I didn't put my name. It was a couple of them, so I had to work my hardest and stuff. I didn't fail any classes, which was good. Like I said, I have all my credits and stuff like that. Um. I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. Let me see if I didn't. If I didn't forget nothing, talk about my regions, reference of my man. Yeah, I got everything <laughs> checked off of my checklist. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy your summer. Be safe. Be safe. Uh, if you wake in the summer, uh, make sure you get your money. Spend it wisely. Don't don't you don't want to spend all of your money. And then going into the next year, uh, obviously in September, I will make a video just giving some advice to people that are going into their first year out of high school. 
And that's pretty much it for the video. You know the drill.